guys welcome back to episode 13 this is episode 13 B so today we're going to create a two new repos uh, we're gonna split the code between front-end and back-end and we're gonna start to deploy this code to Heroku finally cool so the first thing that you need to do you need to go to your repository make sure you're logged in I'm logged in on mine already so we're gonna create a new one mine one mine it's gonna be called Mern. Uh, let's start with the backend. Marin backend. So this is going to be public. I don't care. Uh, initially, we need to go to your project. So remember that in the past episode, we modified the API to be able to deploy it. So now we're going to go to the backend. Uh, inside the folder, you can follow these instructions here so basically what you can do you can paste on your terminal and you should be good to go just give yes uh, so what that does it does create a git ignore file uh, it does link your code there and when you refresh you have there so this is working so now if you do good state a git state you will have all your files uh, remember that we don't want to send .env so I will, I will add here I will do another git status so you could see env here and now env gone so I will do git add a dot this is add all the files so if you do good uh, git status again you see all the files there that's what we want so then I will do git commit first commit before deploy get push this is going to send all the code to this particular repo here yeah so now we have all the folders I can delete this file folders so I'm gonna remove that because we we don't want this we don't want to send images uh, git status git adds the changes git commit removes the file folder because we we moved away from saving in the in, in the files and now basically a, a git push that will fix it yeah all good so now we have a repo right so the next thing you need to do is you create your account in the Heroku so it's heroku.com and when you go to your account this is the first uh, the first thing that you're gonna see we're gonna keep to create uh, together a new app so we'll call Mern bootcamp API so this name is available you can choose another name if you want to uh, we're gonna create this app once we have the app created okay we're going to connect to github and then basically I'm logged in with my account already so if you're not you need to click here it's gonna give you the instructions so that you can log in your github account in this case is main backend Marin let me see if I can find Marin backend connect it is connecting and that's super easy to deploy right so we are creating a new pipeline pipeline here uh, we can enable automatic deploys here okay so now that we've done that we can go to the project again uh, sorry to I mean to click an overview you will see all your resources your deployments 
think we can deploy the first time manually because this is will be just for the changes and you can see that is already going through and deploying I think there's a gotcha here probably is going to fail but it's good that we're gonna see together if it's gonna fail or not Installing everything, build success su successfully. Uh, it's gonna fail because the MongoDB won't be connected. Okay, so it was deployed to this URL. All right. So if you go to this URL slash status two hundred, so my API is already live. Okay, so it is working. Uh, however, we know that the MongoDB won't be connected. Mm. If you go to your overview settings, oh, there we go. So config vars. So if you go in config vars, okay. So you're gonna go settings, config vars. So in my case, remember. I have a few things and the things that you want to save there is all the information that you have inside your .m file okay so in my case I have a MongoDB secret I need to save there and the value will be this value here let's just so I can add that the next one that I need to add is the access key ID like so that will be here and the third one the set axis key it will be that one okay those credentials of course I will be removing them as soon as I uh, share this video because this is a personal for every single project you should have this from the past videos the MongoDB secret you can take from the first video and those you can take from after that right so now you have all your credentials and your app is basically working on the modern bootcamp API Heroku so this is is mine one right so when you first deploy you can get that link now we could test that let's give it a go so if you open insomnia that's mine I will update my URL from the back end remember that you need to get all these things so that's why I like this now if you go to your manage environment basically what I need to do is just update the URL remove the door and my project is ready for me to test so I can go to a user and I could try to log in this user right so I sent that not found let me see what is I think I need to remove that slash from the end that's probably what is breaking it yeah let's try again cool so my API is online is working so as you can see I'm making the request directly to Heroku and I'm receiving back my user and the user ID like we know that is working Okay, so the next step for me is basically do all the same thing again, but deploy the React application instead, right? So then we can use the application all live. For that, that is very simple. So we will start doing the same thing that we did. I'll go back here. I'll go to my GitHub repositories. I will create a new repository. This is will be a main bootcamp uh, man backend man frontend I will keep the same convention frontend this is also will be a public repository so I'm gonna create a new one 
uh, I will do the same thing I'll copy that okay so I'll go back to my code I will step away from the back end now I'll go to CD front end although clear just so that I can have a clear screen I'll paste that that's gonna create one thing and push so that we can see that that does work and then if you do a git status you should have all your files in this case in git ignore we have node modules we in this one we have a few things already that should be okay so you do git add and directory this is mean the entire directory so we will add everything or you can just go here select all that, that also works okay and then you can type your message first commit and push no, I need to commit first and then push yeah so now I will have the entire front end here like so that's basically the same thing that we're gonna do so I'm gonna go back to Marin right now if you look the resources I have let me have a look so I'm inside Marin bootcamp API so I need to go back to personal I will create a new app this app will be Marin bootcamp front end like so I want in Europe I will create the app that's very simple go to github connect your github that will be a Marin front end you do a search it's gonna search inside my github like so I can do a connect and there's something here that I know is gonna is not going to work at, at first but that's the magic of having a continuous delivery and deployment and I will show you so I'm gonna deploy the first version so you click in deploy uh, branch I will enable the automatically deploy so I'm gonna wait a few minutes you can look the activity so it is deploying just right now so it's building everything it's pushing everything online and it will give me the URL again for the front end let's wait create an optimized build production production build so that's what react does if you follow ever all, all the instructions that we did in the past that should be okay so it released the app to this URL so now we can go to this URL and check the app application error by the way I was expecting the server to 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 have this error uh, we forgot to do a step in the front end so there is a library that serves all the assets from the gist folder we will need to install this library and change a little bit our script and also change the link from our API okay so if you go to your front end code again your project so here we will install npm install server serve right and then the way you use that if you look here you basically can do serve and the folder name so we're going to create a new script here that will be called start and the start will be basically serve no uh, dist 
and the way that that's going to work we need to configure the server now when we do npm run build it will create a new folder let me show you which folder is going to create so if you look here it will create a new folder build with the start assets and javascript inside so this is needs to be serve build like so and then the next thing that we we want to do is go to our api remember this link so this link now needs to get updated with the backend url like so so we're going to update that as well and that will be all of the code but going back to heroku before i push that code if you're looking in the front end if you go on your deploy there you go so it will run uh, npm start for us automatically following this So you need to activate, you need to go in resource. There's a free genus here and we need to run npm start. Okay. So that basically what we need to active. You need to confirm that that doesn't cost anything. This is a hook. So basically now what we can do, you, you need to go and deploy your changes. So we add a few things here. I'm going to commit, so add updating update project. I will commit that and push. And that should be enough to take us live. Okay. So if you go here now in activity, we should see at some point here. Let's refresh that a hook. Yeah, so it's building again. Let's follow this build process and let's hope for the best. So now it runs React Script build because it runs the build command here. Uh, let's hope it's going to run the start after that. So now we're building the command, we install all the dependencies. Let's see if that does work. Yeah, there you have it. We got our app working on Heroku. So now we deploy that to Heroku. It seems that we have an issue with styling here. So I quickly debug that and let me show you something that I discovered. Apparently, this max width 400, uh, 450 pixels is, is making all this problem. So that's a, a quick easy fix. Uh, I don't know if I slipped that coding by mistake, what I did, but basically we can fix that in two seconds. So if you go to your app, to your app CSS, we have a container. Uh, basically you just need to delete that line and you're good to go. So that means we have now both uh, backend and frontend deployed. Update style. And that will fix automatically the problem. Okay. So guys, I hope you really did enjoy this series. It was an amazing series to be to me. Uh, I don't have plans. Uh, to continue recording videos about this specific client but uh, we will start working now on the react native client and we're going to use this uh, live api for help to we're going to consume this api from react native and we're going to build basically the, all the same functionality in the app so that you can see what the difference are between react and react native so i hope that you like this series and if you did, please remember to leave your like and subscribe to this channel. This really supports the work I'm doing and will support the extra uh, boot camps I have in mind. See you guys in the next video.